and I've been in Alma Heights now, I guess this is gonna be my 16th year. I don't know, I think it's like my 24th year of teaching. When you teach and you teach kids that are younger than you, that's all that they see because they're looking up at you. And the kids have always asked, why do you have such big front teeth? And I'm like, I don't know. It's just the way it is. I finally decided Dr. Zamora a couple weeks ago said, we can fix that. And I said, really? I said, all right, let's fix it. So when I go back this year, the kids can't say that anymore. The last thing I want is for it to look unnatural. Sure, right? sure. To... I don't want it to look like dentures, yeah. you know, like full dentures. Right. Like, yeah. And a lot of times people that will know you will say something's different, but they won't know exactly because they can't it's figure natural, it out. Right? Mm -hmm. I just want my smile back because I haven't had a smile in a long time because there's been nothing to smile about. My son passed away in February, and, uh, and unexpectedly, and um, he was 23, and so I've done a lot of crying in the last few months. He had graduated and had gone to college, you know, I mean, had gone to Seattle to start his first job, and um, last year at this time, in fact, I was moving him up there, and um, he had type 1 diabetes, and he went to sleep, and he just didn't wake up. Um, he was ready to change the world. He was going to go back to law school. He decided he was going to go to law school, and he was studying for the LSAT the day before he passed away. You know, Trinity also dedicated an area at Trinity. There's chairs and a, a pillar um, that has his name on it because he was a Res Life coordinator, um, a resident mentor, uh, you know, like an RM at the dorm. And so it's there in Blake's memory. You know, he touched a lot of lives. Yeah, in and, a short amount of time. In a short amount of time. He's a very sweet boy. Yeah. It and, was great to have him as a patient. Yeah. To know your family. Yeah, he was something else. And, I think I've told people you love someone for, you know, your kid for 23 years with your heart and soul and just one day he's gone, um, you just can't stop loving. You know, you've got a hole um, in your heart where he's just not there anymore, but you can't just turn it off. And, and I mean, you never will. It's never going to go away. Deep is one million. <laughs> just making it through the day is pretty hard. And um, I smile, obviously, because I have to. When you work with kids, you can't let them see how you feel. Um, but it hasn't been a smile because I'm happy. Um, and I want to be able to smile again um, for, you know, happy reasons. Worried. OK, let's shake by it again. Do you want to see it? Oh, my gosh. So <laughs> this one's a little bit long, yeah. and I want to trim it. But... Holy moly. Wow, that is very different. I'm so used to having Bucky Beaver teeth that I'm like kind of shocked. Um, I look totally different. Yeah. So I look like one of those people on TV, you know, that, <laughs> like has a pretty smile. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It's, it's a big I mean, difference. It's simple, right? Yeah, it was simple, you said it was yeah. simple. I didn't believe you, but you know, it really was. <laughs> it's definitely a big so, change. Thank you, thank, you. Yeah. thank you for doing it for me. I really appreciate it. I've looked so forward to this day. <laughs> Look at me now. <laughs> so in memory of Blake, I'm not charging you for the visit. Oh, are you sure? That's so if you want to take that money and donate it, I will. You can, because I didn't. I wasn't sure what cause you wanted to do. Oh wow! Well, I will definitely um, donate it yeah, to. Um, I will donate it in his memory to the Juvenile Diabetes okay. Research Foundation. Okay. Thank you so much. It was very sweet of you. It'll give me the confidence um, that. Um, I need and um, to go forward and the courage to go forward, um, you know, and have a smile on my face for real and not because, you know, I'm just doing it yeah. because people yeah. expect it. So I think Blake would be happy. Um, he um, was my biggest cheerleader. So um, he'd be happy that I was happy. 